The Seahawks recently signed undrafted quarterback Levi Lewis from Louisiana Lafayette. So in this video, we'll be breaking him down, um, a few stats and notes to take care of. Levi Lewis, he outplayed Malik Willis in their matchup in 2021. He led Louisiana to a 13-1 record, their one loss coming to Texas. And Lewis's career touchdown and interception ratio is 81 to 18. There have been comparisons to Kyler Murray when it comes to Levi Lewis because of the height and the pocket awareness, the scramble ability. I don't think Lewis has that same elusiveness that Murray had that terrorized the Big 12. I do think Lewis's pocket awareness and um, scrambling ability can translate to the NFL. While Lewis is a great scrambler, he doesn't look to scramble right away. It's clearly a last resort um, type of thing, unless it's a QB draw. He goes through his reads, and if nothing's there, he'll take off and run. He also doesn't scramble just to run. He scrambles to find a guy open and hit the check down like he did just right there. In this clip, he runs, he scrambles to his left. It's clearly a rollout play, evades pressure, and then hits his uh, receiver crossing over the middle. This play shows tremendous pocket awareness. He dodges the defender that comes free, but instead of taking off and running, he keeps his eyes downfield and hits the receiver on the corner route. Lewis looks really comfortable in the pocket. He can easily evade defenders and hit open receivers, just like on this play right here. A common issue with short quarterbacks is throwing over the middle because of throwing over the taller offensive lines. This is not a problem for Lewis. I think his accuracy is best over the middle and on the intermediate throws. Another thing to note with Lewis, his throwing motion is very compact. Uh, you don't want a long, windy throwing motion like most left-handed quarterbacks do. I actually didn't even notice he was left-handed until um, a couple of minutes into watching him. A very quick, compact throwing motion. He gets the ball out really quickly. They were in a lot of RPOs at Louisiana. So a lot of quick slants like this right here. He throws with anticipation. Uh, he lets the ball go before the receivers even turned around. They pick up the first down. Again, a very quick throwing motion. Gets the ball out really quickly. He was only sacked 53 times in his entire college career on over 1,000 dropbacks. He'll sack himself every once in a while like all running quarterbacks do. But unlike a quarterback, I like to compare him to Malik Willis who was sacked over 50 times this year alone, he wouldn't get the ball out quick enough, really put his O-line in a bad spot. Um, on this play, you can see Lewis passes up the opportunity to scramble through that really big hole um, and gets the ball out over the middle. This play, Lewis trusts his offensive line and he gets the ball out quick over the middle. One thing you see college quarterbacks struggle with is throwing from the far hash to the sideline. Lewis does not struggle with this. He has a strong enough arm. He is not afraid to throw into tight windows as he does right here on the sideline. Tremendous throw and catch um, on this play. It is right before halftime, like 10 seconds left. Gets it in between the cornerback playing the, the deep flats and the safety over the top finds a hole in the three deep uh, prevent defense. Here is a throw that I was talking about earlier from the far hash to the sideline. E just easy throw and catch for him. Another great throw and catch to the sideline. Throws with anticipation. He throws it before he even cuts. You'd like to see him throw it a little bit on target, lead him to the sideline, but still a great throw. One of Lewis's strengths is throwing the deep ball. He unloads a 65 yard bomb to effectively put the game away against Iowa State, a power five school. Lewis's accuracy actually gets better the further he goes downfield. His deep ball accuracy is absolutely exceptional. His technique and mechanics actually get better as he throws the ball deep. When he tries to throw with velocity or try and fit it into a tight window, he'll flail his arm to the side but on, when he's throwing deep, he keeps it near his chest, which leads to great uh, deep ball accuracy. 
One of the go-tos in the red zone for Louisiana's offense was the jump ball. Lewis was absolutely exceptional at doing this. Out of all of the games I watched of him, I've never seen him underthrow a jump ball. It's either my guy gets it or no one gets it. I believe that Lewis will compete for the starting job along with Drew Locke and Geno Smith. Um, winning it would, would be a little bit of a stretch, but I definitely think he can at least make the practice squad or even win the backup job.